fact, seven people had to be rescued after their vehicles got stuck in a flooded section of Duluth Road in Fallbrook. Our 10 News reporter Mackenzie Maynard was there earlier as crews had to come up with a plan to safely rescue them. Mackenzie. Yeah, a huge part in the delay to that rescue was how high the water actually was on that road. Crews actually told me water at one point was reaching their chest level, so about three to four feet uh, at times earlier today. Now, we're about 10 minutes from where that rescue was. As you can see here behind me, this area also flooded, but take a look at that video from Deleuze Road and Sadie Creek. That's where the rescue happened. Now, crews actually had to use a type three brush rig because the water was so high. Regular type one engines weren't able to get through. Now, the seven people were in three different cars. One man we talked with after he got rescued got stuck in his Dodge Ram truck after he drove through the water and saw two other trapped cars. He tried turning around, but got caught and water started coming through his doors. Other two vehicles were stranded, decided I'm okay. Well, if I made it that way, I can make it the other way. And halfway through, it was only obvious it was not going to happen. And back live, many roads in this area, like we mentioned, are dealing with flooding and rescue crews want us to remind you how dangerous these rescues can be, not only for the people trapped in their cars, but for the rescue crews as well. And something that they worried about a little earlier were the cars that were disabled on that road. All it might have taken was some swift water to rush through a flash flood, if you will, and those cars could have been pushed off the road entirely, making that situation a lot worse and now life threatening for everyone involved. For now, reporting live in Fallbrook, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News.